Autofluorescent is a natural characteristic in all cells. They fluorescence without markers and define the negative control. But too much autofluorescent can mask the signal of cells with weak markers, as both auto and markers fluorescence are in the same range. Thus, a well resolved positive and negative population is required. So, how many cells do we need for having a statistical significant sample? It depends on several things, among others, the accuracy of the measurement. When measurements become more accurate and the bigger the difference we would like to show, the fewer cells are needed for counting. That's because the negative and positive population would have a better resolution, lower spreading, with higher reading precision, making it easier to establish the cutoff. The cutoff is the ideal point of distinction between the negative and positive population and is somewhat arbitrary. The more cells we read, the better the resolution becomes and thus the easier to establish the cutoff, but also more costly to run bigger samples.